Hello, welcome to SoGoodReviews.com and SleazyKVideo.com and it's time for Ninja Terminator, an IFD cut and paste movie that always gets quoted. Surely thanks to a snappy title and the fact that the movie IFD re-edited and released as a Richard Harrison vehicle was the South Korean actioner translated as the uninvited guest of the Star Ferry, starring Wang Jiang Lee. And it also has odd scenes courtesy of Godfrey Ho involving toy robots and dinner delights in the form of drunken crabs. And Ninja Terminate is possibly the most fun Godfrey Ho and IFD ever had. So combined with that and a memorable fighting hero in the Korean original and choreography, Ninja Terminator serves as a fine introduction to the tactics of IFD, perhaps the introduction. The IFD footage initially goes on and on and on and on, and this is unusual. In fact, Godfrey Ho's footage as integrated into the Korean action movie is well over 20 minutes in length, compared to the usual 10 minutes. Meaning there's actual showmanship by IFD on display and directorial effort rather than adhering to even below formula. So energy in the opening action scenes is uh, quite terrific and the stuntmen doubling for our male western leads uh, each do inspiring work for the IFD brand name. This is kick-ass ninja action from a unit not associated with anything worth talking about or laughing with. And despite this being a side plot to Jack Lambs, the unrelated movies are merged to a fun degree, not just through Garfield phone conversations. So over in Korea, Jack Lamb portrays Jaguar Wong with a sense of confidence, and you get the feeling you're watching Korea's James Bond. And mostly quality action choreography comes out of the 1984 movie, which uh, impresses the most during the finale, where Wang Jiang Lee finally gets uh, to cut loose. So Godfrey Ho was awake during Ninja Terminator, and this movie, this cut and paste production, showcases the most fun the whole team ever had. And aside from delivering in the action department with uh, trickery such as bombs and hidden knives and suicide bombing from the ninjas, there's toy robots delivering death messages on VHS and training scenes involving melons. And that's fun and also as stoic as the movie is, Ninja Terminator is so much fun and it finally makes the IFD mold complete.